all right guys welcome back i know it's been a while but here we are we're gonna go ahead and get started over here here we have the pro team super coach pro 10 and what we're doing here is um we had an issue with the switch which burned out and then um so we're gonna change this whole uh piece and so let's get started so what I'm going to do first is we're going to take these filter doors out and then filters as well. After you get that going, I'm going to use a drill. There'll be these four screws. Then we're going to flip this to the side. And if you pull that up, you'll see two screws right there. We'll use a little bit bigger screwdriver for those. Now, if you lift it, there's going to be some rubber grommets. So we'll put those down. And we'll lay the vacuum on its side. You'll see um, three screws right here. Go ahead and pull those out. After that, this should slide off easy. And then you'll see two screws right here. This is a cover for the switch assembly. And then this plate will come out. And what we're gonna do here is, we gotta take it off. So, you'll see this Velcro strap holding the switch. Just push it right through. Let's move our stuff out of the way. So that'll kind of dangle like that. Okay, so this is fairly simple. I'm gonna pull off our ground. We're gonna use this uh, 5 16 driver. Okay, with that out, you're just gonna disconnect this white wire and this black wire. Now here, you grab some pliers, channel locks, your preference, and you're gonna unscrew that. It's a plastic nut. Slip that off. And then Slide each wire out one by one. And there's a switch. Now here, this is our new part. There's your part number. And just basically reverse order. Now you can buy the switch and uh, this cord assembly separate. We don't have time, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this on. Looks like they didn't include the new hardware. So, reverse order, push that through. Now we're gonna make sure it lines up with our strap over here. And we want this to be straight up like that. So once we get it aligned, we get our position and we start putting, I wanna say this is like a lock washer. 
slide that through. And we'll grab our stuff here real quick. There we go. Remember to keep this up. So it's gonna go about there. And then you'll just start screwing that in. Now just tighten it a little bit, just like we were doing. That's about good. Don't do it too much because you will break them. And then now, just kind of match our colors. Black with black. Here's your white wire. Gonna tuck that in there as best as you can. And then you'll have your ground right there. Okay, so the secret to this is basically running your wires through here. Um, as far as that goes, make sure your ground is going forward and then you can grab your plate. This plate goes like that, it goes inward and you can get it through. And then obviously the screws that go here. Should look pretty clean like that. And then now you're gonna grab your cover. Let's just go ahead, place it in there. And then just kinda squeeze through, give it a little good tap. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with these. Flip it over. Make sure that's snapped into place. Get your four screws. And then you're gonna grab your strap here. I'm gonna grab our little wedges and you can see they just go in, but I'm gonna put them right here. There's a little indent right there. Match it up, push down. Grab the other one, push down. Now you can grab your bigger screws, push them through. Get them started. your Velcro back on. Now you can put your switch here on the Velcro. Push the strap through. Bring it close and around. And then it'll match up right here. And this is for your power cord. But uh, other than that, what we got left is just our filters. Like that. And then now, all you gotta do is test it out. And we're gonna cut it off right here. 
All right, this video helped you out. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. We're gonna have a lot more videos. Vacuums, buffers, snow blowers, scrubbers, all kinds of stuff. And um, we'll see you next time.